I'm Don Thorpe and I'm here to help you get active. MS Active Together is an initiative put together by the MS Society to help people with MS get more physical activity into their lives. Now I know some of you might be daunted by the idea of exercise, but fear not, this workout's designed for people with MS who have mild to moderate symptoms, and I'm joined here by Koz and Samia, who both have MS, and they're gonna help me take you through the workout today. The workout we're gonna be doing is a balance and stability workout, and these exercises are gonna help you get a bit more stable on your legs and help with coordination. Now, we're gonna kick off with one of my favorite exercises called the sit and walk, and Koz is your man here. He's gonna be showing you how to do it. So, what we've got before we go, we've got two chairs here at a certain distance apart. Now, Koz, you're gonna stand up and walk to the other chair, take a seat, and then repeat and go back the other way. So, whenever you're ready, off you go. That's great stuff, turn around. Now, Guys, I want you to take a full seat, completely relax at the bottom, then come back up again and repeat and go back this way. Now, one of the variables you can do with this to either make it more challenging or slightly easier is to vary the distance between the two chairs. Now, we've got a moderate distance here, but you can increase that. Come on, guys, let's have a, another one again. I'm gonna get you to do three of these, please. Uh, yeah, you can increase that distance and go as far as you're comfortable doing but don't rush it and don't jump too early. We, we wanna make sure you're confident at doing the exercise before we increase the distance too much. Take a seat. Good, let's have one more from you please, Cos. So you can also increase the number of times you do this exercise as well. And I suggest you start with something that you're comfortable, but gradually increase the number of times you do this. All the way back, please. And you can do this anywhere, in your living room, in your dining room, or your kitchen. All you need is two chairs. Take a seat. Thank you. Okay, so the next one is the kneel to stand. Now, because I'm gonna need you to turn around, Sammy is just chilling out for this exercise, but we're gonna use a chair if we need it. And the idea is to start off kneeling, and then we come up onto one leg, and we stand all the way up, and then with the same leg going back down, we drop to the knee. So if you need support, uh, we can hold onto a chair or anything, could be a sofa, step up, and then bring that knee back down, okay? So the first time we're focusing on our right leg, we're gonna go up, lead with the right, stand up fully, step back down with the right first. So we'll do this a few times. I'm gonna do five reps on my right hand side all the way up, bring that right foot back, down we go, that's it. And then one final time for me, all the way up, that's good, bring it back down, and there we are. So we're gonna lead with our left leg now. So left leg comes around forward, bringing up, stand up fully, and then the left leg goes back down. Great stuff. Okay, four more to go. Left leg forward, all the way up, and then left leg comes back down. And as I said, if you're comfortable using no hands, you can do it, hands on your hips if you like. Step back down, and there. But I'd say always have something nearby just in case your balance goes a little bit and you've got some sort of stability. So one more time for the left leg, bringing it up, and lead back down with the left again. So now we're gonna do the clockwork legs or clockwork foot, which is a stability exercise where we're gonna tell the time with our feet. And we've got a couple of options. Samia, if you can stand up. You, Samia's gonna go and use the back of her chair for support. So there we go, if you turn and face it. Koz is gonna have a go on his own, but the exercise looks like this. Start off with our feet together, and we're gonna go, if we're imagining the clock, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, then six o'clock and back to the middle. So then we, we would repeat that on the same leg. Three o'clock, six o'clock, back to the middle. And then we'll do it on the other foot afterwards. So I'm gonna count you in. You happy with that technique, guys? Right, so we're gonna go for five on this side. So three, two, one, and let's go. 12, three, six, 
back to the middle. Now keep going at the same pace, so 12, 3, 6, back to the middle. Now if you need to break in between guys, you can. So I'm going 12 and then back here, then 3, then back here, then 6, and then back here to 12, here we go. So remember guys, this is about balance, but if you do experience any dizziness or anything like that while you're with it, go easy. And I would suggest if you're not that confident, always have a chair or something with you to make sure that you've got an added bit of stability. Let's do one more. 12, let's go back, three, and then six. Good stuff. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our other leg now. So kicking off, 12, nine, six, 12, nine, and six. Good stuff, back to the middle. 12, nine, six, that's good. Two more, 12, nine, and six. Back to the middle, last one on this side. 12, nine, and six. Good stuff. So guys, go at your own pace and go at your own rhythm with this one. You can increase the numbers of reps with that if, you, if you're confident. So I would say gradually try and progress with that. The next exercise we're gonna do is the single leg balance. It's simply about trying to balance on one foot and hold that. And some of you will be able to do that with these, some of you not so much. So we're gonna use a chair to help us. So Cos, if you go around there, I'll turn my chair around here. And we're gonna try for 10 seconds on each leg. So the first up, leading with our left foot on the floor, right foot off the floor. So if we bring our leg up, guys. Now, if you've got the chair, you can try and do the freestanding, but you might need to go back on occasionally as and when you lose balance. Okay, that's 10 seconds there. Then we change over, same thing on the other side. So again, you're trying to hold on the one foot. If you can do it freestanding, great. But if you need your chair, that's absolutely fine. And then we switch back to your other side. Left foot again, freestanding if you can. Now, guys, if you can increase the duration of that balance, then please do. It's about progression, you're trying to improve, but don't rush into it. Take it at the pace at which you're comfortable. Change back onto our right leg. That's it, go for it. Holding there. Some people find that holding their ear Makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, maybe that might work for you. Try it, see how it goes. One more time on each side. So onto our left leg, hold, balance, that's it. So these exercises should help you with certainly balancing, but also a little bit of help with your walking as well. Final time on the right leg. That's it, good job guys, you're doing really well. Keep holding. And excellent stuff. So we're gonna do a bit of a cool down now just to get a bit of flexibility into those muscles that we've just worked. So let's get you shifted forward to the end of your seat first of all, and we're gonna stretch the back of the thigh. So one leg straight, slide your hands down towards your ankle and reach down to the toes if you can and kind of hold on to that one. We're gonna hold each pose for around 10 seconds that's what we call maintenance stretching. It's not really going to increase our flexibility, but it will maintain any flexibility that we had pre-workout. Okay, come up and then switch back to your other leg. That's it. Reach down. As I said, if you can touch your toes, great. If you can go beyond your toes, you're better than I am. All right, hold that pose for a little bit. Good stuff. A few more seconds. Well done, relax. Okay, up to your upper body now. So. For the back of the shoulders, just bring in one arm, hook it with your other arm and pull it in nice and tight so you feel a bit of a stretch in the back of the shoulder. That's good, we're gonna hold this one for about 10 seconds or so as well. Great stuff guys, and then onto your other side, exactly the same thing in the opposite direction. So pull it in close and hold for 10 seconds or so. Good, nice work. So feel that stretch just on the back of that shoulder. Excellent stuff. Next, we're gonna go for the triceps back of the arm. So it's about getting this bit up as high as you can. If you can reach down between your shoulder blades, superb. If not, I just wanna see you pushing up there. So let's go for that. A bit of help from our other hand. 10 seconds again here. 
and then we switch over, same thing on the other side, right hand over, and good, reaching down between my shoulder blades. Lovely stuff, a few more seconds here. And the last one to stretch out our chest, we're just gonna really open up our body. So take your arms out wide, sit upright, and really open up that chest. Lovely stuff. Okay guys, that's your stretch. You've done a great job, really good effort. I'll see you again soon.